now. Blue skies like our, our cityscape behind us. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, gorgeous. This afternoon. Again, we got a lot of sunshine, good amount of rain last night, and no severe weather, which is good whenever you can have that. In the middle of summer, Wauwatosa, 1.18 inches of rain. That's one of the highest amounts I've seen. Sheboygan had over an inch of rainfall. Officially at Milwaukee, Mitchell, 86 hundredths of an inch of rain. Uh, officially uh, in New Berlin, uh, 1.01 inches of rainfall. This New Berlin should say Brookfield. That's my bad there. Brookfield, uh, just over a half inch of rain, George reporting. All right, this is a live look in Port Washington, 72 degrees in Port Washington. Uh, the dew point is at 66. So we do have a northeast wind in Port Washington off of Lake Michigan, so it's quite a bit cooler today, but there's still some humidity uh, to that air today. Temperatures in Milwaukee, 77. The winds are calm as of right now. Now, as we look across southeastern Wisconsin, uh, you're going to see temperatures uh, middle 70s for most of the area, 76 in Watertown, up to 80 now in Fond du Lac. And as the skies are now clearing out, I think we're going to see our temperatures bump into the lower 80s for most of the area. Again, as we look at the dew points, uh, still a bit on the humid side, but a tiny step back from yesterday. Right now, a dew point of 63 in Waukesha, 65 in Racine. Kenosha is still quite sticky with a dew point at 68. So let's go through your dew point cast. Staying kind of humid for today in the lower 60s. Tomorrow, I think some upper 60s again. We bump back up tomorrow. And then a cold front brings some nice and refreshing air here on Thursday and into Friday. Okay, the rain from last night, the tail end of it, uh, you can see swirling a little area of low pressure here, uh, bringing some scattered storms across portions of uh, northern Indiana and uh, northwestern Ohio this early afternoon. We're right on the backside of things, and we do have some clouds still working through Racine and Kenosha, but sky are clearing out to the northwest. Now we could see some puffy cumulus clouds still develop as the afternoon goes on, but overall a nice afternoon. Uh, second cold front arrives for us Wednesday evening, bringing another chance of thunderstorms and then nice for the rest of the week. Future forecasts here as the afternoon goes on. Again, just a couple scattered clouds overhead. Notice the wind though either out of the northwest or off of Lake Michigan. So that combination here, you got in general some cooler air uh, drawing in from the north and then also a bit of a lake breeze. So uh, temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler in relation to yesterday. Now by this evening, skies clear out, but we could see a little patchy fog try to develop tonight given the ground has a little bit of moisture from the rainfall recent rainfall and the calm winds and temperatures falling to around the dew points. Uh, 3 30 a.m. All is quiet except for maybe a bit of patchy fog by 11 a.m. Tomorrow, a lot of sunshine. Now watch what happens tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Scattered thunderstorms start to roll in here. It should be pretty scattered, but I would say 2 o'clock and on tomorrow. A chance of thunderstorms. This is 6 o'clock. You can see still by 9, 10 o'clock, still the chance for some scattered storms. And then they should be out of here by early Thursday morning, and we'll look for a lot of sunshine on Thursday. All right, your forecast for this afternoon, a high temperature of 82, partly cloudy skies for tonight. Again, watch out for some patchy fog tonight, especially late tonight. A low temperature of 66, mainly clear skies. And here's your seven-day forecast for you on Thursday or on Wednesday, 86 degrees with a chance of thunderstorms late Thursday and Friday. Both look awesome. If you're headed up to Lambeau Field for Packers preseason football, weather should be awesome as well. All right, this weekend, a slight chance of storms looks like uh, late Saturday, Saturday night, and then the rest of the weekend looks pretty good. High temperatures hovering around 80 degrees at least.